Welcome! Thank you for watching my video on health and Bible time. Have you ever felt like you were starting a brand new chapter in the story of your life? It can be exciting. It can be scary. It can be both. In my Bible reading, I just got to Joshua chapter 1. This was definitely a new chapter in the lives of God's children. They had a new leader. They were going to a new land, but one thing remained the same. God's promise to be with them and never leave them. Sometimes during uncertain days in our life, we wonder, does God know what's happening down here? Has he left us to figure it all out? Take just a minute with me and look at a few verses. This is Joshua chapter 1 and verse 5. God is speaking to Joshua and he says, There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. And the beginning of verse 6, he says, Be strong and of a good courage. The beginning of verse 7, he says, Only be thou strong and very courageous. Then if you drop down to verse 9, God's still talking to Joshua. He says, Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee whithersoever thou goest. I think God is trying to make a point to not be afraid. Be not afraid. Because he says, I will never leave thee. This promise is to all his children. If you have never received Jesus as your Savior, described in John chapter 3 as being born again, becoming God's child, please click on the link that should be on your screen right now. And also at the end of this video, there will be a link. So you can claim this promise too. God repeated this promise in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5, and also including verse 6, he says, For he hath said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee, so that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper. I will not fear what man shall do unto me. That's a promise that we can cling to. If you struggle with fear due to uncertain circumstances, these are verses that you can cling to and promises from God to us, his children. Second Timothy 1 7 is another one to memorize. The spirit of fear is not from God. The Bible says for God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. There is an amazing song to listen to. It's by Zach Williams. It's called Fear is a Liar. It will encourage you if you struggle with fear. There are many songs you can listen to, but God's word supersedes everything. Memorize scripture. This is Psalms chapter 56, verse 3 and 4. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. In God, I will praise his word. In God have I put my trust. I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. These are amazing verses. No matter what's happening in your life or in the world around you, God expects us to live wisely. But God does not want us full of fear because he is with us. As his children, his Holy Spirit lives within us. He will never forsake us. He promises us this, and you can trust him. I truly hope this encouraged you. If it did, please subscribe to my channel, Health and Bible Time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.